Okay, so welcome back. And now we're going to talk about double angles, half angles, and reduction formulas. So let's start with the double angle. So how does the double angle formulas get derived? By simply taking the sum and difference formulas and using the case that the angles are the same. So alpha is equal to beta. So if we do that, for example, if we say alpha is equal to beta, then we can easily derive these two formulas. I'm not going to do all of the ones, but there are the other ones like for the double angle uh, for tangent is done similarly. So if I change this to alpha plus alpha, right, then I'm going to change this, you know, if, again, we're under the assumption that um, beta is equal to alpha. And so we get this, and so we get sine of 2 alpha, there's where the double angle comes in, 2 times alpha, is equal to what? It's going to be cosine alpha sine alpha, and another sine alpha cosine alpha. So we get 2 times sine alpha cosine alpha. And there's the first formula. And then similarly, we have this. And again, if we, again, have uh, alpha equal to beta. We change this to alpha. We get alpha here. We get alpha here. And then what do we end up with? We end up with cosine squared alpha minus sine squared alpha. Now, <clears throat> there's two variations for the double angle because then we get, again, cosine 2 alpha. And so there's two variations depending on which um, do we want to substitute in for the Pythagorean identity. So if we do this one, then we, we have what? 1 minus sine squared alpha minus sine squared alpha. And then this gives us what? It gives us 1, oops, don't, want, don't need that anymore. So 1 minus 2 times sine squared alpha. Okay, so that's one variation. Uh, the other variation is to then, instead of replacing, substituting for cosine squared, we're going to substitute in for um, sine squared. So we could then, if we did that, then we would get what? We'd get cosine squared alpha minus what? 1 minus uh, cosine squared alpha. So all I did was substitute in for sine squared alpha for this. And so now instead of subtracting this, I'm subtracting this. And then now if I simplify this, I get cosine squared alpha minus 1 plus cosine squared alpha, and then I get what? 2 cosine squared alpha minus 1. And so that's the other variation of the double angle formula for cosine. Okay. And again, you could see the same sort of thing with, with, uh, with tangent. Uh, in fact, we, why don't we go ahead and do that? So, so if I have tangent, right, I'm just going to do the plus. You could get, similarly, these can be done for the difference uh, formula, but we're just talking about double angle. So obviously it only applies to the plus. So, um, well, in this case, we wouldn't want to do the, the, the difference because if they're the same, we get zero. So that's, that would be um, unnecessary. So with this case here, so if we do tangent and we do alpha plus beta, we know that it's going to be what? It's going to be tangent alpha plus tangent beta, and then 1 minus the product of the two, tangent alpha times tangent beta. Okay? And so now, we just do the same thing. We're just going to make them the same. So we're going to make alpha equal to beta, and then derive the double angle formula for tangent. So again, we'll just change all the betas to alpha. Okay, and now simplify it. 
So we get tangent of 2 alpha equals what? Now we get 2 tangent alpha in the numerator over 1 minus 2 tangent, oh, not 2, squared. Oops. So this will be 1 minus tangent squared theta. And then of course, we can uh, change this, right? But again, let's leave it as tangent squared, but um, that's it. So we'll see you next time. Have a great day, and we'll do some more examples.